researchers from the University of Cardiff tested public drinking water supplies in New Delhi last year and found the mutant bacteria in some of those samples. The genetic mutation they call NDM1 showed up in 11 different bacterial species including those that cause cholera and dysentery. The Lancet study estimates that about 100 million Indians are traveling around the globe with harmless variations of this mutant bacteria in their intestinal tracts. Timothy nice. Walsh was the lead author. So for the gene pool in India, probably Pakistan, probably um, Bangladesh and probably even Sri Lanka is absolutely huge and where these people go, where they travel, they will take their normal flora with them, 100 trillion bacteria and therefore the ultimate consequences of that is that it will spread uh, worldwide. Experts say people can remain healthy even if the normal bacteria in their gut carries this genetic mutation. But they could be in trouble if they get infected by a disease causing bacteria. That's because the NDM1 mutation in their gut can transfer into the disease bacteria and enable them to produce enzymes that fight off even the most powerful antibiotics. Barry Eisenstein is vice president of Cubis Pharmaceuticals, an American company. The New Delhi metallobetalactamase, which, which originated first seen in, in India, has now spread to over two dozen countries. Um, where an organism that resides in all of our gastrointestinal tracts, namely E. coli, has become essentially resistant to all penicillin, cephalosporins, and carbapenems that we have available. Officials in India deny that Delhi's water supply is tainted with the superbug. India's Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has dismissed the threat posed by the bug. Dr. Vishwa Mohan Katoch is Director General of Health Services. Normally they are not a danger to us, you know, they are there, that's all. Only if you get the infection with them, if you know, if your wounds are exposed to them, your surgical practices are not good enough, then there's a danger. The Chief Minister of New Delhi told reporters that officials are nevertheless looking into the problem. I think the Delhi Jal Board has very categorically said that this is not so, so please don't spread a panic when there is no panic. Timothy Walsh says Indian authorities have rejected the findings because national pride is at stake. The evidence is there and speaks for itself. The very fact that now they have been forced, finally forced into actually carrying investigations on their own, suggests in fact that hopefully now they're worried such that they are finally going to do something about it. Walsh says his team offered to collaborate with Indian authorities, but they chose to investigate on their own. My fear is that this investigation that they're going to undertake um, will almost certainly um, not employ the right methods and the study design will be quite poor. And therefore, I'm not convinced that uh, the outcome will be a particularly scientifically credible one. Experts say it's time to force some countries to abide by World Health Organization guidelines on the use of antibiotics so that deadly organisms don't become resistant to them. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.